Hey everyone and welcome back to uh, UE5BP Guru. Uh, so today's episode we're going to be looking at the aim offset now, getting that set up ready for adding the weapons into our hands and firing them. Uh, before we do that I want to just show a few things I've changed from last episode uh, that's made this a little bit better. Uh, more so for testing purposes but um, still nonetheless. If we go into here... The first thing I've updated is I changed it so that now it's a lot more fluid. There's no double tapping um, to change from pistol to rifle and back to normal. Uh, you'll also notice that there's you can actually see the hands now um, for the rifle. And I'll explain everything um, right now. The first thing is uh, I've changed the setup of our inputs. Using a flip-flop, what it does is so that it works the first time if you open up the pistol and then change immediately to like the rifle it works because the flip flop here is, is set to still nothing but what's happening is is when you press it again to flip back this is still set to true and it has to set to false which is nothing and it gets confused so using a branch and just plugging I mean I've crossed those wires so don't get confused by that if you want to set this up but basically yeah using a branch it just it gets rid of all that it's just checking the true and false and it's not flip-flopping anything so that now works fine from the last episode uh, the other thing I've changed is if you come into our walk rifle and I've also done the same thing for have I done the same thing for crouch rifle I might not have we might change this now I don't know um, what's the rifle hip no we want to change uh, we do want to change that one so yeah so um, this is basically all I did is I, I picked a um, crouch idle iron sight we'll use that one so I'm using the iron sights and the reason being is that because we're going to be mainly in first person we want to be able to see our weapon and if we don't have it, the uh, correct um, animations what's going to happen is, is you won't see anything the, the gunfire and you'll just see the bullet spray which is not something that we really want so um, just to test this out now that's what I've done um, and that should work fine it shouldn't shouldn't have any negative effects on any of anything we've set up uh, continue continue something failed to save apparently I'm not sure why that was uh, let's just try again let's try saving again okay doesn't seem to like that then interesting close that down then it looks like it has saved in there somehow I don't really know and also for the rifle hip I've just changed it to um, walking and running the only thing I haven't changed is the sprint be, but we'll put in something that says when you're sprinting you can't shoot because it wouldn't make sense uh, in a real game so let's just try that I want to see if that crouch actually saved because that was a bit weird um, uh, let's get our rifle out yep yeah that's fine it did save I don't know why it came up with the error just obviously ignore that because it, it, it saved uh, just do the test and as long as it's working then you're you're golden um, so yeah that's basically all I've changed for this um, since the last episode um, I think it looks a lot better now and works a lot better um, the only thing now I really need to look at is the aim offset so to begin with let's go into our BP character find our mesh and let's get our anim BP open up Manny don't open up Quinn as always and this is kind of roughly where we need to be uh, I don't know if I've set anything else. Oh, I have. Let's um, I'll delete this out and start fresh. Okay. Uh, so everything's fine. Um, I haven't done that either yet, so that's fine. Okay. So this is basically where I got to. Um, a little bit of a sneak peek there for you guys, but that's all good. Uh, we need to set up some new variables, of course. Um, the first of which being we want is um, we want an aim rotation variable 
and we want that to be of type rotator nice and simple uh, and we're going to set that in here but we're not going to take anything actually uh, we're not going to set up any new variables within the character because we want to pull off here and we want to grab two things that's already set up which one is being control get control rotation and the other one we want to get is get actor rotation if I spell it right <coughs> the next thing we want to get is we want to get a uh, delta rotator and we want to plug both of these into that just like so we can uh, pull this back a bit just to get some extra space if you like uh, then we need to break this delta rotator um, split this the structure pin and we need to get uh, a few different floats so for the I want to do it like minus We'll try it one way. It's either going to work one way or the other way. Plug this into the bottom, not the top, because we want to minus away from the 360 value. Uh, we need a to multiply the Y by minus 1. And uh, we need to check that the Z is greater than 180. Now, it might be that I put Y into all of these just to, to, as a test if it doesn't work, um, but we'll see. Select, you wanna select the float, plug in, oh, I haven't put that to 360. That could have been a uh, huge error there that I missed. Right, I could have been sat here for hours. Uh, let's chuck all this into the select float and then we need to divide this by three because that's how many of the skeletons we're gonna be. There's five skeletons in UE5, but we want to um, only um, manipulate three of them. Uh, we'll make rotator, that should be all good, and then stick that in there. That looks all good. There's one other thing we do need to do, and we need to go into our locomotion. No, we don't. We need to go into our anim graph. Uh, so I'm obviously going to set up what you just saw. So we need to make. Uh, no, we don't. We need to transform modified bone. Transform modified bone. That's what we're looking for. Uh, and to just to kind of keep things tidy and allow it all to make sense we're gonna get rid of uh, a few things so we don't need the alpha so just click on the pin this is a bit different to UE4 so if you're looking at this from UE4 point of view um, and you're coming to UE5 and you're like oh where, where, where do we do this it's, it's in you just click on the pin and you just get rid of it like that and we're gonna do that for scale and uh, trans uh, translation as well because we only want to affect that rotation so we should have something that looks like this now. We're gonna copy and paste this th to three times. There we go. We're gonna drag out that new aim rotation uh, variable we've created. And we're gonna plug that into all three, just like so. Uh, and then we're gonna connect everything up now. And then there's just a couple more things we need to do. And we should have, hopefully, if everything's working, a um, correct aim offset so click on the first one we want to set this to spine one and come down to rotation and in rotation space we want to note and ignore where it says rotation mode instead of ignore we want to add to existing that's what we need to do uh, do the same for spine two and spine three so just make sure your rotation mode says um, add to existing for all three Compile, and that should all be working fine now. Go into the event graph, just double check you've got everything correct. I think we should be good to go. Press play, look down, look up, come out, look down, look up, down, up, and around. Now it's only gonna affect the up and down motion um, because when we're in first person, because we're not making a third person game, remember, I'm just using that for testing purposes to show everything off. 
But when we're in first person, it doesn't matter where we're aiming because it's always going to be wherever our mouse is looking at, right? So it's not going to affect that left or right looking kind of like it's not. Gonna, if I look to the left, it's not going to do that. It's going to go up and down, still facing forward, right? So, um, so yeah. And as as you can see with the light, it shows just how um, that is working. So there we go. That is our aim offset correctly set up everything looks really really good um you could amend the values so you don't like look right down so aggressively um because all oh my days look at that wow we are right down there aren't we so you could amend those values just so it's not so aggressive um but for now i think that's pretty good i'm just going to test one thing I just want to see what happens when uh, we go back into the anim graph. Click on this, find alpha, and just change it to 0.3. I want to see um, what difference that makes, if any, to that um, aggressive kind of bend. And we'll just see what kind of effect that has. Um, apparently nothing. Okay. It literally does nothing. Wow. Okay. That's... Wait there. Oh. I wasn't quite done there. Yeah, it basically ruins the offset. Uh, let's try, what, 0 It might just be that we keep it at one, and then we just have to amend the, the values that it can um, it can turn to. Okay, that's a lot better actually. It's still bending, but it's not um, it's not as as aggressive. Like you kind of lose the 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 hand a bit that's kind of good that's kind of good actually i like that so 0 0.8 seems to be kind of like the sweet spot uh there's not going to be too many times where you're looking directly at the floor like this so having that slight offset just makes it feel a little bit more realistic you kind of lose your hand a little bit you gain a little bit extra hand when you look down yeah i like that so that's um that's it's as simple as that basically um let's just kind of recap so uh yeah you kind of uh, create these transform modified bones, three of them. Make sure they are set up to uh, spine one, two, and three, and set your uh, rotation to uh, add to existing. Um, and as I said, I put the alpha to zero point eight. Um, you could, as I said, amend that if you want to uh, play around with it, see if you can create something that's um, a little bit more suited to your game. I quite like 0 0.8, I think that's kind of good. Um, and then from our third person character, we got our get control rotation, get actor rotation, added in the delta rotator, split that out into the three, um, selected the float, divided by three, make the rotator, and set that into the anim. Uh, rotation that we created in within our anim blueprint uh, so yeah hopefully this tutorial has been uh, helpful to you guys um, if you have any um, anything you need help with please let me know in the comments um, and if you've enjoyed yourself like and subscribe it would really help and you can always change your mind down the line um, and I'll see you in the next tutorial thanks so much take care bye